Today, I would describe 326 T Street as dilapidated. I think the house as it is now reflects what we know about her, which is very little. She was Rosa Parks before Rosa Parks. She was in the forefront of civil rights long before. What we say about Mary Church Terrell is she came in the year of the Emancipation Proclamation and joined the ancestors the same year as Brown versus the Board of Education. I think for those of us who have been working on uh, what it could be, it represents unfinished business. So an incomplete representation of not only who she was and what she meant to us, uh, but an incomplete built representation of where she lived. She grew up with wealth. She had a command of herself, a presence, and an expectation, both of being dignified and of being treated in a certain kind of way. And Jim Crow wasn't part of the equation. Mary Church Terrell was able to, to juggle dignity and defiance because this was a path she had walked in all her life.